So tell me who you guys are. We're swells. We're right. swells. We're swells. We're the swells. We no. were the swells. No, we're swells oh, now. Okay. I never know. Me we're, neither. We're swells. So you guys are no stranger to the future. You guys have Cuco, you have Carter Ace. Um, I'm curious what makes you choose who would feature well on a track. I don't know. I don't I feel like it's honestly just like if we happen to get along with someone. I don't like it. I don't really think it's even like a conversation that we've had. Like we needed trumpet on what, what was he on? He was on Busboy, the original like the yeah, begging and, pleading. and begging and pleading. We just needed trumpet. We had just met Omar and we were like Th- that works out. <laughs> it was so. convenient too. He was in Van Nuys and we just played a show. So it was like we were going to Van Nuys High School at the time. So it was just right up our alley, basically. Yeah, it was just like. And then Carter is Carter's just like. He's just okay. dope. I feel yeah. like his music is just awesome. Yeah. And we were like lucky to get on a song with him. Yeah, similar circumstances. Like we just had, had been playing shows with Carter a while. We were at the time recording or like beginning to record our last album that came out, Love Olympics. And. We wanted to like work on a single, and I had a song that I thought that he would like work really well on, and I said, "You want a feature on?" He said, "Let's go," and so he did it. It's a great single. It's it's. You also did a, you, you did a video with it as well. Yeah, Can yeah. You talk about that video. That was uh, by and large just like the graces of our friend Karina Gutierrez. So just like from like form to function, the entire like idea for the music video, like the plot, everything, like she had her whole team behind all the lighting, like catering and like all the props and stuff like that. And we were just like, she said, you know, jump. We said how high. It was really easy (laughs) and uh, amazing. If you guys ever need someone to work with in like music videos, like Karina's Karina's the fucking She's our girl, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Do you know how she came up with the idea of like dinner with swells and Carter Ace? (laughs) Do you have any idea? I literally don't remember. Like, we had been talking, I think, like, more recently, we were going to announce some stuff pretty soon in regards of a music video. But more recently, it's been more of a, like, collaborative process. I think that one was just, like, Karina's like, let's do a music video together. And I was like, fantastic. And then she just had the entire idea. And And Carter Ace was just, like, super down with it, too. Yeah, we were just, like, show up and wear this. And he said, bet. And, you know, I mean, Carter's down. Carter's going to perform. Like, I don't, we didn't, like, I mean, we had an idea of what it was going to be. Do you you have any? Yeah, I mean, he he kind of just, um, I mean, his entire thing is just being the the food on the plate. So (laughs) it was really, like, he was was super down with it. He just, um, he was even falling asleep, like, in that, like, in the table (laughs) thing. So, um, no, he's, like, super easy going, and it was fun. That's awesome. It's a great video. Um, great song too. <laughs> um, so Maddie, you are uh, a CSUN grad, and so are you, Neil. I didn't know this until be- we, before uh, we were talking. Um, yeah, Maddie the Matador. Maddie the Matador. <laughs> yeah. as, a, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you ruined it. Can you? Uh, do you, know, you sh- has, shut up back there. <laughs> has has, uh, has CSUN helped like contribute to swells at all in any way? Um, I think I think we've met a lot of. I think I met a lot of people um, from CSUN by by virtue of being in CSUN that I didn't meet at CSUN. In in particular, I mean Cesar, who we've, we've talked about in the past. Cesar went to CSUN, but I we like didn't go at the same time. Roger Holloway went to CSUN, but we didn't go at the same time. Uh, we have a friend who plays bass, Caleb Buchanan. He's on tour with a band called Spill Tab right now. Um, he did not go to see some, but I like these are all people that I've met by virtue of just like networking. Yeah, I, I feel like the a lot of people that we know go here, but also I, I was thinking this on the drive here. We've done like a lot of events here. We've we did yeah. like Soul Fest once. We did another radio event close to Soraya. Yeah, uh, we've been here a bunch actually, and like thinking about it, we we do a lot of stuff here. Yeah, just in general, but yeah, I don't. As far as like shaping swells, I feel like. I feel like yeah, we've met quite a few people by I don't but I don't know. It's like all like this people that Jason has met that happened to go here, people like we went to high school that also went to CSUN. Like we I knew you through like playing backyard shows, not through CSUN. I think it's like it's like CSUN's like a hub that like everyone happens to go to and it's like but I met them through different circumstances, you know. It's so interesting. Yeah. So it's you're saying that it's not like you're not meeting people as much through CSUN, but it's through like the events that CSUN put together. It's yeah, it's kind of like that, or just like people that I've met. Like I have a friend uh, who went here, we, or a couple friends here, like Miles Martin. He's a drummer. Ali Kelly, she's a singer. I've met like them, and like by virtue of meeting them and like seeing them at other things, it's been like I've like reconnected with other people. Like 
made, like, you know, I've like seen our friend Roger, like, you know, seen Cesar, just like, but like even that's just like, you just could play shows and you just like see people, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I think that I'm glad that I went to CSUN for the connections. And I think that's like the number one thing that I would say that, that I like gained from my time here is just like meeting a bunch of incredibly talented people. Definitely. Yeah. So in that, in that sense, I think like we've met a lot of people that like we like have worked with or like would like to work with. And so that's been like the most special thing I think about it for me, at least. What about you, Neil? Do you have any connections via swells via season? Honestly, it was from before when we were doing all the events and I wasn't even attending CSUN when we started to do like soul fest and mm -hmm the other spot that Jason mentioned, yeah. you know, and then when I was over here, we were still in lockdown. So, um, yeah, I would say, you know, just, just making the connections beforehand, I would say, yeah, CSUN contributed to that. But yeah, in terms of, you know, forming our sound, um, that was kind of just us. Yeah. yeah. I think also I, I didn't go to CSUN, but I feel like a lot of the CSUN people are local Valley kids who, like grew up here and like really know the area and they're not coming in from like out of town and like don't know what's going on. They all like know the area yeah. and like hot spots and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So everyone kind of like who goes to CSUN kind of gives back to the like area in a cool way. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, so you guys dropped your, your last album love Olympics, uh, in the heart of the pandemic late 2020. Um, which I think a lot of people probably wouldn't do that. <laughs> I'm curious why or what the thought process was going into that. Uh, I feel like in hindsight, I think it was a really rough time for musicians. And I think we had been working on it for so long. And it had been, I think we just came to a point where it's like, look, we have this collection of songs. Um, and uh, I think we're just ready to put it out. I don't know if we, I think we like had so many discussions about this as to whether we not, we, or whether or not we thought it was the right time. And I think overall the decision was to stop working on this so that we could work on other things and continue to move on and grow as a band. Um, in hindsight, you know, I don't think it performed as well as it could have. And I think that was like had a large part to do with the pandemic. Like we couldn't really play shows. We never really had like an official release party for it that like we just did like a twitch thing that was fun but it's like nothing really compares to playing a live show and i think for a lot of those reasons it's like i'm glad that we put it out because i'm really excited about what we're working on now but you know i think everyone kind of struggled with that so i don't know if it's like a unique situation. i think it's like anything during the pandemic you you literally don't know when when it's coming to an end so it's like are we gonna right. just wait until this this thing is over or exactly. are we gonna like keep moving on with our lives and i feel like it was a good representation of what we are you know yeah. at that time but you know, I'm glad we're doing other things, too. I feel like it's one of our stronger albums, but it's obviously weird because we dropped it when everyone no was at could, home. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, yeah. So, yeah. it's it, you know, and I think now, like, after releasing this latest single, bro, like, I think we've learned a lot in terms of, like, the work for for dropping your shit like comes it's not like all of the time that it takes to put something out and like writing this that's a big part of it obviously your shit has to be good but the work like starts when you drop something because it's like you have to like for like years and years have to be like yo go stream this go stream sirens i don't want to work a day job anymore go check this out we're fucking good like you know check us out because it's worth it and like i think we like something i could have done a lot better with that release is like yo like hype your shit up it's good because obviously like no one's going like people aren't discovering you by coming to shows and everyone was like you know sick <laughs> so or scared of getting sick what well you, you know? mentioned sirens i was gonna save that for i mean this is the last question oh, but, uh, so, nice. nice but um talk about sirens it's, it's your most recent single right yeah one sec let me give it to the main man <laughs> uh, um so i wrote a demo version about a year ago and it was just kind of sitting on my computer. I didn't, at the time when we were recording Love Olympics and also what are you gonna do, our sound wasn't exactly heading in that direction quite yet. So I think it had to take a little journey before I introduced it. How long did you have that song in your computer? I, I've never asked you. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, almost a year, man. Damn. Yeah, I was just, you know, cause th these guys are musical geniuses. So I was a little, you know, hesitant to bring forth. But um, yeah, I showed the boys and they were down to work on it and everyone contributed it. We all were in the recording process. Jason added some really cool ideas on keys and 
why it completely changed the baseline, which was dope. I thought it was way better than what I came up with. And then Maddie wrote, um, you can speak about the lyrics. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, the when uh, Neil brought the song to us, Sirens was what you call scratch track. I mean, you know, but you know, for people listening at home. Uh, scratch track or sc scratch title for a song is like what like a throwaway title like you just have to put a name to the file and so he just had it as sirens and so we started working on the song and I was like I mean sirens is an interesting name and I kind of was thinking just based on the vibe of the song I wasn't thinking it was like ambulatory I wasn't thinking like you know police sirens or something like that I was like so I hit up Neil and I'm like hey do you mean like when you say sirens you mean like evil mermaids right <laughs> and he was like yeah you got it and Obviously. I was like fuck yeah sweet <laughs> He's always into like, that Greek shit. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> um, I didn't. I don't know what I meant by that. <laughs> but uh, but uh, anywho, uh, so I was just like, well, that's cool. Let me just like write to that prompt. And so uh, you know, I got into like a writing session with our producer Edwin Gonzalez, and uh, I was just. I, it's kind of like about, in a sense, like you know, like you're fucking with someone. Not like fucking, fucking, but like you know, and it's just like that kind of nebulous zone of like, are we just like hooking up or is this like is this something more like do I actually mean something to you or is this kind of just like a passing thing and kind of like not being sure of how you stand with someone or where you stand with someone rather and um, just kind of going on that idea so Neil you mentioned that it wasn't like kind of, it wasn't where like swells was what do you think the difference between I guess love Olympic swells with sirens era swells is I think because of Love Olympics, I was kind of molding, you know, the song to that. Because we were writing Love Olympics for a while. You know, it took uh, quite some time before we re released it. And I just wanted to do something a little bit different and to introduce maybe like some new sounds, you know, experiment with the synthesizers because, you know, we've been expanding with keyboards a lot and with Jason on, you know, EP and Clav and even um, organ at some times, but um, I would I would get an opportunity to experiment with more sounds, and yeah, just kind of kind of just branch out, you know, the the expand the realm of our music a bit, you know, because we were I don't know we went through a lot of phases, you know, it went from like punk rock when I first joined the band, it was like pretty punk. Let's say surf punk. Surf yeah. punk, yeah, <laughs> for sure. And then yeah. these guys, you know, went to jazz. Uh, they were in jazz band and all that, and I didn't really have a background in that. I was more like a classical blues artist, and yeah, I just kind of wanted to get more into you know the jazz realm, and and it just kind of grew from there. And um, I love what Maddie did with the lyrics. Yeah, you know, I think it makes the song. So usually a single is a is a sign for something else, something more that's coming as well. Uh, do you guys you want to talk about that at all or no? Yeah, we got a we got about nine songs. That's eventually going to be an album. Um, so we're kind of we just released Sirens and we're pushing that. We have a video coming for it. Yeah. Um, so we have a video for that. So go check it out. Um, and then we have another couple of singles that are in the bag, um, ready to that will be periodically dropped. Um, and then yeah, eventually, hopefully, um, the an entire album comes out. I guess around springtime is kind of what we're shooting for. But um, but we shall see when that. When that lines up. All right. Oh. Thank, thank you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, PJ.